Health Committee of Parliament has interfaced with section of stakeholders on the proposed Mental Health Bill of 2014, which in essence seeks to improve the Mental Treatment Bill of 1964. The bill is considered long overdue by, among others, Makere University researcher Dr. Stella Nyanzi. 14 years, so many bills are being enacted, they're being passed, they're being asserted to by President Yori Museveni, but a bill pertaining to the mental health and well-being of Ugandan citizens has been ignored for 14 years. Clause 10 of the proposed amendment is turning out to be contentious, for it seeks to empower police to arrest any person presumed mentally ill without a court warrant. First point of contention pertains to what amounts to reasonable grounds to qualify one as mentally ill. It is very threatening to give an opportunity in, in an act that any police can get you without a warrant and take you to custody, suspect, suspecting you to be mad. This is very risky for us who are in the opposition because many times we do things police think that we are mad. And secondly, the bill is cited to ignore the reality on the ground by requiring police to within 24 hours present the presumed mentally ill persons for medical examination despite of the few or no psychiatrics in health units in the country. A lot of Ugandans, including many of you in this room, have got forms of mental illness. You can be in denial. I will not diagnose you because I'm not a psychiatrist. <laughs> but because of the trauma that happened in this House of Parliament just last month, you guys are brutalized mentally and you need psychiatric help or psychological help. <laughs> okay? I'm mean, saying that what happened here uh, on the 28th in the Parliament that caused some of us to be mentally disturbed, that most of the MPs are now mentally disturbed. That one is not correct. We are still with our stable minds. Among recommendations sought to improve the bill to appropriately benefit the population is... Is looking at health facilities of the lower cadre. You get. So that we can have health workers from a centre two, three, four, hospital, then up. You know, so that every mental person can be treated, can be attended to at any level he feels he can approach. The bill is a medical model of approach. Mental health is not only medical. There are social problems. There are human rights problems which have not been addressed well in the bill. It is more focusing on institutions and medicalization. The kind of approach we do here in Uganda, not only Uganda but in Africa, we use the medical approach. And yet, in order for a patient to live a normal life, you have to use holistic kind of approach, whereby you have to use the historical, the medical, the, the traditional, all that kind of thing. The proposed Mental Health Bill 2014 is a government bill with the object of taking care and treatment for affected persons at primary health centers for admission and eventual discharge. Onyango Jackson, reporting for ABC TV at Parliament.